Hello and welcome to the new video lesson of our course and in this video we'll make a blog page, we'll make our about page and we'll make our contact us page. So I already told you that how you can create a page through Elementor. So now uh, we'll just go ahead, waste no more time and then we'll just add some templates which are free into our website and then customize it as per our liking. So uh, let's just go ahead to pages and then you should go to add new. It would uh, load for a while and then your add new page option would open. And yes, here you have to give your page title which is blog and uh, we just uh, want to make it 100% full width and uh, we can go to title and then we can disable it and then let's just publish. Okay, uh, so now our page is live. Let's go ahead and edit it with Elementor. And yes, you can see Elementor is loading. So now uh, to add a template, you have to click on the file icon, which is uh, this one. And then you have to go to this blogs section. So uh, this blog section adds a whole new block to your website and I think that we'd be needing something for the title. So uh, let's just go ahead and insert this one as uh, this uh, looks really good and then you have to just hit get started as it would ask you to sign up uh, to this website and then you have to hit connect. So uh, it would load for a while and then you will see uh, this interface. Uh, where it would be inserted to your website and uh, now you can just go ahead and uh, write uh, blog here or uh, read all our blogs here or whatever text you want you can also add some quotes or things like that and then you can uh, write some quotes which would uh, just motivate the users to read more. And then you can just remove this read more text as our blogs would be displayed below. And then you have to just hit plus. You have to just uh, create a new section and then you have to click on this nine button and you have to search for blog. Now. For blogs, you get three options. This premium blog is of no use to us. We have already learned the use of post grid. So let's go ahead and this time add a post timeline. And uh, as you add it, you can see that this one looks good. And what it does is it basically uh, gives the user uh, timestamp or something like that you can say because when you click on this uh, dot you can see that when this post was published and if this is displayed by a lot of blogs this would look really cool and modern and here the user can also get a glimpse of what is there in the blog so let's just go ahead and make the posts per page 200 and you can keep it increasing uh, as you add more and more and more blogs. Also, when your blog limits exceed 100, what it will do is it will create a page 2. And when users go to the bottom, they would be just be able to click on that page 2 and they would be redirected to your older posts. So, isn't it good? Yeah. Now uh, you can just go ahead and style it. You can click if you want to show the overlay and uh, whatever changes you want to do, you can do it from here. And like if I just disable the show overlay, it would be something like this. But I think that the previous one was looking better. So uh, let's just go to typography and let's make it a center aligned and make the title color white, white is fine 
and then you can just go to typography make it pop pens if you want it to stand out a bit you can just add a bit of uh, size to it now you can just go to this excerpt style and excerpt typography you can go to default and then select pop pens you can make it a bit uh, bigger around i think uh, 16 would be fine you can add a bit of weight if you want but i won't like it in my website and then you see you're done if you want you can make it center aligned too but uh, if some text is displayed i won't like it to be center aligned so i like it the way it is and then let's just go ahead and hit update now uh, let's just look that how this website page will look on a mobile phone and yes you can see that it looks just fine if you want you can just make this text black which i would recommend doing and again the same problem and i already told you that how you can fix it so if the color isn't changing you have to just select alt plus a to select the whole text and then you can click to whatever color you want to change and yes as you can see it has been changed to black color and uh, if we want we can just reduce its size a bit to around 15 which looks just fine we can go ahead and change the heading to poppins and the size is 30 fine let's hit update and after it's updated let's go to our desktop website and you can see that some changes are applied to our desktop website also but uh, the text size is so small that it won't look good on a desktop so let's just make it 20 and yes now it looks just cool so when you keep adding blogs your page would be filled with a lot of content and then you can also see it ranking along with your blog pages your home page and your different pages also if you want to remove this sample text option or whatever text you will write here and you don't want to give a glimpse to the user that what's written in the blog what you can do is you can just go to content option and then layout settings and then you'll see an option of show excerpt you can just select it and hide it and then you can save and i think that for our website we won't need to give a glimpse to the user for all these things so you can see a blog page is ready and it would look better and better as you add more and more blogs and i would recommend you to add featured image to all your blogs as they give a very awesome look to your blog also a good thing about elementor is you can also build your blog pages with elementor yes that's right like uh, if you are writing a blog about the best mobile phones you can just go to your post you can uh, create a new post and then you can hit the edit with elementor option and then you can just create your blog with elementor and every blog can be unique and it would also help your website to rank even higher in search results so if you don't want to give a lot of efforts in just building the blog pages uh, don't worry just go ahead to the html to the default wordpress editor and write your blogs there because it is also good but if you want to make it more stylish and modern just go ahead and design your different different blog pages okay uh, now as we have created a blog page let's go ahead and make our contact us and about us pages which are even easier because we'll be just importing the whole page then and there so uh, let's just go to a new tab and open our website dashboard to create a new page 
then you know that what you have to do you have to go to pages you have to go to add new and then you have to just uh, name your page which is uh, about us and then you can just go and do the same settings over and over again hit publish and you can select publish again and then you should go and edit it with elementor it would load for a while and then you will be in your elementor dashboard and now you can see our elementor page is uh, loading and i'll show you that how you can import your whole page and there all your page is loaded and then you have to just go on this file button and pages option will open by default then you have to search for about us or you can only search for about page and then you can go ahead and select whatever page you like so i think uh, this option looks good i'll just go ahead and insert it to our website and when you hit insert it would load for a while and then you'll see that it has been added and the whole page has been added to your website and you can see it looks very good now you can give your facebook links from here you can see link when someone would click on this he would be redirected to your facebook handle and uh, uh, keeping your facebook twitter youtube pages updated is a very good practice to getting organic traffic also you can uh, sell get your sales more and more through these social media handles so you can just link your social media handles from here you can write your story here you can attach a video here and also you can add uh, some things here which i don't think we would be need needing to add this clients option so let's just go ahead and remove it now yes uh, about us page this big is nice and uh, yes if you want you can just go ahead and change the color to the color of your website because you need to keep it consistent you need to keep the brand color consistent so let me just show you that how you can change the color now you can see when i hover over this i can change its color so yes when i select this i have to go to to this style section and then you will see the background type color and image option so you can just uh, go to this option which is background overlay and then you will see your background overlay colors and then you can select them to whatever your brand color is and our brand color would be something in blue and uh, you can say dark blue so yes now it looks much better and it blends according to a brand color the same thing can be done with this you can just go here and you can select this edit section option which you can't see right now because i already told you that when you are at the top of your page you won't be able to see the edit section cross and the options like that and to just uh, do that you have to create a new section and then you have to drag and drop it on the top by scrolling and then you can just go and select this edit section option you have to go to style background overlay and yes uh, now you can go and change the colors and yes we can keep your colors pretty much consistent for our website you can also change this text color and whatever you see here can be customized as this has been built by elementor for users like us so as our about us page is also ready for now let's go ahead and create a contact us page and you don't need to worry for these pages if they are mobile optimized or not 
because as Elementor has created them, they have already made them optimized for mobile phones. Now let's open a new tab and again go to our dashboard. And we'll be repeating the same process again. So I'll just uh, do this pretty quickly. We should add a new page. We should go ahead and add a title which is contact us. You can go and make the content layout 100%. You have to disable the title. You have to publish it. And then you have to go to edit with Elementor. After loading for a while, Elementor would open. And then let me show you that what you have to do then. Now you again have to go on this file option. You will see this pages. You have to search for contact us option or contact and then you can just go ahead and insert whatever page you like and for me I like this digital agency contact page I'll go ahead and insert it and uh, as you know it would load for a while and then bingo it would be added to our website and we would be able to do this without any efforts so isn't Elementor very cool? Yes, it is. And also, I would recommend you to go and buy the Elementor Pro version. So uh, now you can see that it has been a while since I added it and it hasn't been added to my website till yet. So what is the problem here? The main problem is that uh, these pages would be created for some very old versions of Elementor and we are trying to add them in a new version. So sometimes you would get errors and when you get errors, I think what you should do is you should hit uh, this cross option. You should go here again and then you should select contact. You should search for it and then you should add another page as per your liking because here you can see here are many many pages and as you can see I like this hotel uh, contact corporate pages. So uh, now you can see that it has been a while since I added it and it hasn't been added to my website till yet. So what is the problem here? The main problem is that uh, these pages would be created for some very old versions of Elementor and we are trying to add them in a new version. So sometimes you would get errors and when you get errors, I think what you should do is you should hit uh, this cross option. You should go here again and then you should select contact, you should search for it and then you should add another page as per your liking because here you can see here are many many pages and as you can see I like this contact corporate page I'll go ahead and hit insert sometimes it would ask you to connect to uh, Elementor again but you can see it has been added and it looks very very cool now you can see the theme of this is purple and blue and yes, I already told you that how you can change it. You can go ahead, go to style and you can change the text color as per your liking. And yes, uh, this is it. You can, if you have an office or uh, where you live, you can give it directions if you want. You can add the numbers. Now you would be wondering that why are we making a contact us page for our Amazon affiliate website. So uh, the thing is that when uh, you grow a lot and uh, when you start ranking on the search results, what companies do is they come to your website and they find your contact pages and they contact you through that. And after that, they give you sponsorships and sponsorships uh, in the meaning that they tell you that to add your products they tell you to add their products on your website and they will pay you a certain amount of money for that also you can charge them 
for ad spaces on your website when you start getting a lot of traffic and uh, things keep changing you get more and more revenue from all these things so i personally have got uh, more than 10 sponsorships uh, till now and uh, they are still working and giving me more and more revenue so guys this was it for this video and you can go ahead and change all these colors i'll, I'll not teach you to, how to do that as uh, this would uh, take uh, time which i consider would be wasted because i've already told you that how you can do this you can just go ahead and change these text change your phone number visit us or whatever you want to add and remove you cannot do that and i'll meet you in the next video teaching you that how you can add the links to these website on the top like home about us blog contacts us and uh, pages like that would be linked on the top header of your website